Lydia Murray taking the center ice face off as we are underway this afternoon and winning it for the Black Bears. Goes to the far side, onto the stick of Pribble. <laughs> they almost just had one there. Beautiful look there from Milioni. Could Black Bears couldn't put it home, but definitely right at him these last couple of minutes. It's, it's definitely gone back and forth throughout the entirety of the first period so far, but in these last couple of minutes, the Black Bears have picked it up. Here's Belts again. She shoots from close range. Fisher way oh, out of the net, zone. almost. So Tereshkina regroups now at the main blue line. Goes to the far side for press. Right back to Tereshkina. 8-18 remaining in the first period. And now Vianasova enters the offensive zone. She will come in, work her way towards the front of the net. Fisher down, got a piece of that with her pad. She has played. She's been pretty solid in the crease for UConn. Now Colangelo has it as the Huskies quickly down to our left. Can't get set up, however. This is Tedby taking away for the Black Bears. She enters the attack zone down the near side. Feeds it in front. Shot score! Teresa Vanasova taking the pass and going to the backhand. She easily beats Fisher that time. 25 seconds remaining in the first period, and the Black Bears open the scoring. 1 0 May. Are you kidding me, Adam? What a move right here from Vanasova as soon as she touches the puck right over the top. Back, back door. Three quarters score. up the way down the ice for UConn. 16 54 remaining. First, uh, second period, here come the Black Bears the other way. Kusera shoots one, glove save by Fisher, way out of position, one. then UConn she Nothing from Elfland Arena. Vienna Silva scored, assisted by Celine Tedby for the Black Bears at 19.35 of the first period. Here is Celine Tedby now, she works her way down the near side, shot, score! Celine Tedby, the single-handed effort coming down the near side, shoots it from the face-off circle, and goes, I believe, five-hole on Fisher giving the Black Bears the 2-0 lead at 6, Lee 37. Milioni tries to come in and take this one away. Still tied up. Boozy digs it out for the Huskies. She will get free between the faceoff circles. Feed it out to Wabak at the near point. Bouncing a shot on goal. Patched up by Jackson. Loose at the top of the crease. And Taylor Leach clears it out of harm's way, though, for the Black Bears ahead for Milioni. Out at the red line. Quickly the other way comes Jumaine Milioni. Feeds it in front. Shot. Score! Liga Milioni coming down the far side. She sets up Celine Tedby right between the faceoff circles, who puts it right through Fisher. Third point of the game for Celine Tedby. It's her second goal, and Maine leads it 3 0. Like on I the near side. She'll play it out to the red line looking for Crawley. I want to take that one step further if I can, Adam. We've seen excellent defense thus far. And there is the fourth goal of the game. This time, Michelle Weiss between the faceoff circles beating Fisher. As she had some time and space to work with, the UConn defense taking a little bit of a nap there. Weiss got the puck, and she was alone with Fisher between the face-off circles, put it not uh, extremely high, Jack but got Leone some elevation across to Lydia Murray between the face-off circles. She fed it out to Allison Mateau, center point, right back to Murray in the near corner, then over to Leach, her shot just wide of the far post, picked up by Milioni, in behind, goes to the back end, comes out to Leach, her shot snarled out of the air by Fisher. With the glove, probably Maybe her best one looking game heading into the uh, midway stage of the third period. I think one of the biggest moments, if not the biggest moment, as a turnover here. Out, this is Colangelo, goes to the backhand, and the Yukon Huskies are on the board. 4 1 the score as Brianna Colangelo, the junior from Whitby, Ontario, puts Yukon up. Actually, no. It is Nora McLean, excuse me, it's the six, not the 61, McLean. Some momentum the Huskies after the Colangelo goal. They are set up in UMaine territory. Harkness gets this one free, comes onto the stick of Snodgrass, shot it off the near post, and then the rebound five of this third period. Allison Mateau now taking it away along the end boards for the Black Bears. She plays out to Kusera. She'll feed it ahead to Hutchison. Wide open net shot, score! It is Maddie Giordano feeding the empty net with 138 remaining in regulation and giving Maine the 5-1 lead.